<laughs> Ta-da! There's nothing. <laughs> Hi, everybody. This is Sansan Mushi, and I just remembered earlier because Mystic Moon uploaded her weekly energy reading, so that was a good reminder. I was like, whoa, <laughs> I forgot, and which was funny because earlier I went live, and I was like, yeah, I'm caught up on everything. And like, yes. And then after that live stream was over, I got myself some food, um, eventually went on another walk with the dogs. And then, or right before that other walk, um, I went on the YouTube and was like, oh, hey, Mystic Moon uploaded. And I clicked on, on the channel and then I was like, oh, the weekly, re is today Monday? And yeah, today's Monday. So this is the weekly reading for that. It is for uh, January 13th through, I believe the 19th. Yeah, and it's really cool because I just started recording and it was 5.13 uh, p.m. So it's interesting that I hit record at 5.13 on the 13th. Um, yeah, so the timing of that was pretty interesting. But yeah, I also have this love and abundance candle. And I feel like this just heightens intuition. Candles in general, general I believe, um, are just kind of good for that. I can also go ahead and like... Um, poke incense in there and then like light incense on top because that's something I discovered from one of my friends recently uh recently no it was like months and months ago but yeah um thank you all for joining me here um I have a few ideas for what I want to do with this reading so we're going to get into it pretty soon if any of you would like to skip ahead there should be a timestamp in the description box below. Okay, cool. At first I thought like I was just seeing like pink aura, but no, there's like actual pink um, on the charger. <laughs> if you guys are able to see it, but I was like, whoa, <laughs> I'm seeing pink. <laughs> um, it's kind of no joke. There's like, weird auras and things that I see sometimes but anyways pretty excited for this reading um, a lot's been going on so thank you all for your love and support um, if this reading resonates with you awesome let me know um, I think you should be able to tell with the intentions I have in mind because the first thing I'm gonna be doing is uh, like what is it that you're thinking about or what is it that's on your mind this week like as a focus we'll probably look at like a primary focus some secondary focuses and then like some like oh yeah those did come up focuses if that makes sense so <laughs> i guess like not so much the focus things that kind of just like sort of showed up uh that that ended up on your mind and then yeah we'll kind of look at things like that so getting started with the reading what you are focusing on. I actually, um, my headphones near me, they are. These headphones are super magical. They have a mic installed into them. So you guys will be able to hear me better in a second, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. There we go. So we're gonna go ahead and just get started and look at what is on your mind this week? Two of Wands. Uh, teamwork is on your mind is what I get with this. Doing things together. Um, any of you, if romance has shown up in your life recently, love is on your mind. This kind of like teamwork and mutual love and respect <laughs> that you feel with somebody is on your mind. This is something how like you and someone are like in a very similar energy where if you reach out, they reach out. If you put a coin in the wishing well, they put a coin in the wishing well, you know, I kind of like, ah, <laughs> just like look at their faces in this card. It's very sweet. And so you might dream about this person. This is Juan's energy, very spiritual. So this is some sort of deep connection that's on your mind. Um, for others of you, if, it, if there's not someone that you've met recently, this is like uh, being that person within yourself, like working within yourself, basically, is honestly what I get there. Just like the energy of 
being tender with yourself and loving with yourself. If you can't be loving with yourself and, and tender with yourself, how are you going to be able to be that way with others, basically? So, you know, if you're like, if any of you are listening, you're like, oh, I want to be working together with someone. Oh, I want to be doing stuff together with someone. I want to be able to look like hear from someone and be like, oh, I want to hear their messages and stuff like that. How that happens is from treating yourself like that basically 24-7. I mean, I shouldn't maybe make it sound like you have to be like on it 100 million percent of the time, you know. Our thoughts don't necessarily work like that. You know, there are times where we can be harsh on ourselves, down on ourselves. Um, and it, this isn't saying that like if that happens that, oh, you're, you're, unmanifesting love or something you like go in reverse you know that's not it at all it's all a journey but it's just like yeah if if any of you have been spending a long time looking and looking and looking this might with all the energy shifts now and that i'm recording this on the 13th 13 being the number in tarot of like death transformations things like that it could be that some of you that just heard that message just now just recently started to click with you that you really do have to love yourself that way um, before loving another uh, the way that you want. So if you want this kind of partnership that's on your mind for any of you out there, you do need to keep being caring and loving with yourself and like just enjoy your own company. So if any of you have a trouble enjoying your own company, you don't like being by yourself or anything like that. This is an energy saying that the priority this week, if you want to continue on your path of coming together with like-minded individuals, soul connections, it doesn't have to be romance, right? It can be other kinds of connections, other connections of love. Everything is love, in my opinion. Um, so, if you want to be coming together with more manifestations, this can even be about business opportunities. If you're looking for more money, more abundance to come in, more health, support. If any of you are looking for that team member, like it's not necessarily the romance aspect you're looking for, but it's just like you just want somebody to help you right now because you need help or something. You're like, where is my support Like, in this venture I'm going on or something? These are other messages I also pick up on that are like a priority focus. All of those are sort of at the top of the thoughts for those of you this resonates. So it was either one of those messages, some of those messages, or all of those messages. If it was none of those, then the most general message I get is you're trying to make important decisions this week, truly. Because the Two of Wands is about making a decision and knowing that until you make that decision and take action towards it, that things are gonna be on pause. So you need to make decisions, basically, if you want things to move forward. Um, but things not moving forward is not a bad thing. My opinion is that you don't have to do anything. I do not really care what anyone says at this point. I've learned that now. If someone tells you you have to work or do something, you really don't. You could do nothing. And, yeah, if you did nothing for hours and hours and days, and yeah, you eventually, you know, you dehydrate, you don't have any food, you wither away, you know, and then... There's that, right? But the point is you have the free will to choose to do what you want. So you really do not have to do anything, no matter what people say. Yes, there's a cause and effect. There is a, you know, a action, reaction. Sometimes people call it a consequence. Consequences definitely exist that cause and effect. But um, I don't want anyone freaking out like, oh, if you do this, then that might, that bad thing might happen. Or if I don't do this, then that bad thing might happen. It's like just focusing in on the idea of like, okay, hey, pause for a second. You don't have to do anything. Is there any decisions you want to do for the sake of yourself, for the sake of teamwork, for the sake of compassion and caring and being a considerate, genuine, good person? If you make decisions from the heart of just being a good person, I think you cannot go wrong. I, that's an unpopular opinion. Some people believe you guys, you know, it's a dog eat dog world. You got to step on others to win the game or whatever. I'm not one of those people. I truly believe if you just take action from the bottom of your heart of just deciding, I just 
think I'm a good person and I just want to take action that I believe is just good intentions for for yourself and all involved, right? I believe good things come and you're going to manifest this beautiful like beanstalk, you know? This bean is going to sprout into a magical beanstalk that when you climb it, which will be an adventure and will be fun, and that's why it takes work to grow it. You're strengthening yourself too. You're training your body at this time so that you have the muscle power, the energy. That's why it's important to keep up with the energy of taking care of yourself. Not keep up with the energy of like work, 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 but keep up with the energy of drink water, sleep, meditate if any of you vibe with that. Take a nice warm relaxing bath, eat some nice feel-good food that feels really energizing, uh, have some tea, watch your favorite TV show, <laughs> One Piece. Um, let me take a sip real quick. Mm. I know there's that whole thing like sip gracefully, don't chug the tea, but I chug tea. <laughs> I can drink tea real fast. <laughs> also, it gets cold kind of quick, you know, it stays hot for a while. And you're like, when is it going to cool down enough? So it's like just at that hotness so I can drink it and it doesn't burn me. But then after that point, it's all cold from there, you know, so it just starts cooling down pretty fast. Um, but yeah, so this whole time right now is to grow, literally. Any action you're taking, it, make sure you're taking action or making decisions that are for your growth. If anyone's trying to get you to t make decisions that exhaust you in a way that you just feel like you just deteriorated, you didn't strengthen. Like, for example, I did a yoga yesterday, which turned out to be more so a workout. It was so funny. I was doing a yoga with Adrian. I, I started, I took a break from it. I was doing the 30 days with yoga, um, with, with yoga with Adrian home this this new one that came out january 2020 so she uploads a new video every night um i did days one through five and then i stopped after that so on the sixth up until the 11th i stopped doing yoga um and did some basic stretching here and there so yesterday on the 12th i did day six which was ignite and it was basically just a workout and stuff like she was like yeah yeah yogically she did not say that at all but she was like you know in the form of yoga go ahead and Yep, stretch like this, stretch like that. It was like, no, we were doing crunches, basically. <laughs> or like an ab workout. Well, they weren't crunches, but it was an ab workout. And I was like laughing. I was like, you're just tricking me into exercise right now, Adrian. Like, that's what this is. <laughs> and it was so funny. Because um, I was laughing while I was doing it. I was like, this isn't yoga. I mean, it was. But like, I was like, this isn't really just yoga. This is a workout. <laughs> And I know yoga is a workout, but like, no, this was like a workout. Like these were not yoga poses. They were just mostly workouts uh, with the intention that we're doing it with, you know, the mindfulness of a, of a yoga practitioner, you know? So, um, so the point of what I'm talking about, you know, how do you know if a decision is deteriorating or growing you? My abdomen, my abs, they feel sore, right? But I can tell they strengthened. And if I keep up with the next days now and do day seven after this video, that I'm going to keep on strengthening my body. If I keep going on these walks with my doggos, now that I'm at a place where it's not, it's literally not killing me anymore to go on these walks with them. It doesn't like mess with my head. Other people found it peaceful. For me, it caused me a lot of chaos and stress because the energy is very intense with two doggos. And when, the, when animals connect with a, with a water sign especially, and any sign, but particularly water signs, the energy can get very intense because water signs can empathize. And so they will like, animals more so know that they can, they, they get more certain and intense with things. Um, so the, ex the experience can be very different. Um, but at the same time, maybe it's just me or whatever it is, but I don't know. So the point is, I got to a place finally, six months later, right? Six months ago, this was very stressful for me, two doggos, but 
Now I'm at a place where, well, I found certain solutions on how to do it in a way that works for me. And it's become a lot more fun and peaceful. Today was like the most intense day. They kept wanting to go opposite directions and they would like stubbornly just stand and be like this way. And then Mocha would be on the other end like, no, this way. And I'm like, I am stuck here because we have leashes in this day and age. And that's like the safety precaution here. And I don't know what to do. <laughs> so I was like, how about that way? And I was just trying to find a way that they could both agree on. So, um, point is it's at a place now where it doesn't it's not torture for me mentally it's not torture for me physically it's a workout it's exercise it's a little bit testing because it's really cold out so the first walk usually in the morning is the coldest and my hands go really really numb so I'm that's usually my signifier where I'm like okay I'm too freaked out by the cold uh, I'm not warm enough we're going back And that can be a challenge sometimes. Then the second walk in the day, it's like, okay, it's way not as freezing anymore. And then the third walk, they sometimes want to push that to an extreme. And again, it's usually just the first early morning one or just anytime, any first one, it's always really, really cold for me because I'm so accustomed to being inside of a house that has heat, right? Um, And so, yeah, I've just got this whole thing going on where it's like, yeah, health. So that's what this energy is all about. So don't let anyone convince you otherwise. This is your priority focus. And then others of you, again, if you do have work, if you do have those responsibilities, that is a part of your, your reality. Yes, that is what this is about, you know. But some of you, if you're unemployed, don't listen to other people like, why are you unemployed? Like, just don't. Just who, who, like, they really care about you. They would care more so about your well-being other than like what you're doing in this material world. You know what I'm saying? So, so if you, and then the, for those of you that do work and, and stuff like that, yeah, you know that you've got important work to do basically and that you, you're doing what you're doing and that this is getting you somewhere. So I'm just getting this message with the seven of wands in the back of the deck that wherever those of you listening are at, the goal, the priority is about taking care of yourself being a considerate person where you consider other people's feelings and other people's perspectives, knowing everybody's different, everyone's got a different story and journey. Um, and then the important thing is to know that wherever you are at, it is your journey, you have your challenges. Even if your very specific quest or challenge is like, what do I eat today? You know, that's me a lot of the time. Like, that's what's on your mind, that's your focus. So I'm just getting, this is a very divine week. That's every day. It's every moment. Um, But you're going to experience specific things of what you need to do to reach your goals. You have certain goals right now, and this is a good week of closing certain gaps. I see you really getting close to certain goals that seemed further in the distance. So this is kind of a week of miracles. Again, it's every day. It's every moment. But yeah, this is a week of miracles of things kind of... uh, the, the end the end goal suddenly showing up a lot quicker because you're getting that motivation and energy. You're recognizing, you're creating a list. Really, all I need to do is this, 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 and that to, uh, to get rid of these blockages, basically, of what to do next. You have, again, you have a specific task right now. You know, some of you, for example, you already have your schedule. You work on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m., you know, these are all made up numbers, obviously, but like, you know, you have some sort of schedule, and you're like, yep, so your goal is like, yeah, I just need to do A, B, C, D, and E, X, Y, Z, or whatever, go through this week, and I will be that much closer to my goals, so it's not really about like, oh, in one week, I'm gonna get all the way to the end, well, no, the all the way to the end is years and years and years from now, when you're like, 40, 60, 70, 90, whatever number it is that you can reach, you know, (laughs) that's the end goal, right? But like, then what's the point if we just, if I just fast forward to my last breath and I'm like, let's say I'm 90 and I'm, ah, it's like, okay, (laughs) what about all the stuff in between? So every moment matters, every week matters and every step forward is the step of more success. You are successful in every moment. So feel proud of yourselves, everybody. Don't let anybody get you down. 
that's what I think. I think there's no reason that anyone should be getting anyone down on the journey. Because what is someone else not doing as much work or doing as well or as successful as another? What does that really do to the other person? Let's say you're less successful than me or whatever. I'm like, oh, you're less successful. Ah, oh, like, whoa, and I'm having all these problems. I, again, what does you having less success... How does that, why is that a stress for me or to the other person? You know, like, where does that come from, right? It's like, I get it in the sense of, like, we want everyone to feel better or to feel as accomplished or good about themselves as we do, but telling someone that they aren't there or something doesn't really do that. We can honor it. We can own it. We could be like, yeah, I can see I'm at a certain place and you don't have certain things that it seems that I have. Um, I wish the best for you. I believe you can get there because I got there. I got here through going through my journey and learning all the things that I did. So in that regard, yeah, I get it. We can learn from each other. If people are asking for advice, like, oh, what's your advice? What's your secret to success? Things like that. Then, yeah, sure. If someone asks for the advice, but if someone's not asking or they're venting instead or something like that, it's like, what does someone else's misfortune, why does that trigger, like, or let's focus in on you, right? Those of you listening, you know what I'm talking about that resonate with this. Like, you know, like, let's say you're struggling or you haven't found love yet or um, you've been struggling with paying the bills or you've been managing, you've been working three jobs, but you, you, with all the bills and everything, it's been challenging for you to figure out how on earth are you going to even save the money and then like with that what does that even do like when it's so much energy and stress to barely get by with the income you're already making something like that all these different examples right whatever your stress is right let's say you're stressing and someone's like how are you doing and you're like um i'm all right and like what's wrong if they even get that far right and like consider your feelings that much they're like, oh, I've just been stressing about the bills. And they're like, oh, well, you should be saving. And it's like, I didn't even ask for advice. It's like, I was just saying I'm just stressing about the bills. Like, if any of you are wondering if this is my situation, it's not. <laughs> I'm just giving an example. I've experienced this, you know, in different forms and in really intricate, specific ways. And those of you hearing this example know what I mean. That You know it resonates with you, but you know it's so specific and it goes so much more intricate than that, right? Where it's like, wow, people can really specifically shut you down seemingly on accident. And it, it like is, but it's also like, are they really being as considerate as you at that point? Because you know how to not trample on their feelings, yet they don't know how to avoid trampling on your feelings. And they think it's justified because they're like, well, I'm just trying to help you. <laughs> You know, I'm really feeling guided to just go on this whole tangent. So I don't know how many people will resonate with this message. That's totally fine. Some of you need to hear this message, I hope. Um, and if not, this is just like encouraging words and just kind of like one of my rants, you know. But this is the message coming through for the week that these kinds of things, it's fun to hear about it right now because all of us, we've made it. A lot of you have made it. Some of you are still on the downswing where you're still experiencing these karmic situations where there's you're still around, for example, negative energy or people who do care technically about you, like they love you, they do want what's best, but they still, uh, again, don't know how to consider your feelings more. I do feel, yeah, this is talking more so about four pentacles and nine of swords. So now that that energy has cleared, it is up to you to listen to spirit to let go of one way of being and transition fully into another way of being. You're, be you're kind of transforming into a completely like upgraded version of yourself this week. You're like able to withstand so much and like do more stuff because you have more energy and the stuff you do grows you. It doesn't deteriorate you. That's the important thing here. Um, so aside from that overall thing being about taking care of yourself, a lesser focus is needing to let go of resistance, needing to let go of certain stubbornness when it comes to your spending habits. You might be really stubborn on holding on to your money. Spirit's going to push you in a direction where you're going to need to use whatever resources you have 
and that's okay. So if any of you are being told you should save, let's say you have $7 and everyone's telling you, don't spend it, don't spend it. And you're like, but I'm starving. I haven't eaten in 62 years. Obviously, that's an exaggeration. They're like, it doesn't matter. Don't spend it. You need to save. It's like, no, your stomach is a grumbling. You need to go spend a little bit and replenish your energy, you know? It might sound stressful. It might be like, well, you know, there's this thing coming up. Should I be saving for that? Try to mix it up. Try to do both, you know? So budgeting is important, you know? I do think some of you, maybe it's the opposite. There are some of you maybe where you you don't really think that you need to spend or like you have what you need, like in a way that feels good. And, but you like spend all of it on clothes as an example or on knickknacks, um, things like that. Um, so much to the point where it's like, it didn't give you energy, but you spent all of your money you didn't save any of it like these are this is a message for any of you who don't have automatic budgeting skills i'll call it i happen to have automatic budgeting skills don't know why i seem to be a natural at it it's pretty effortless there are times where i totally nerd out and i'm writing numbers and writing all sorts of things down but at the end of the day i just kind of toss all of that and then i'm getting there as i'm doing more i start making more note of things and it's getting there but any of you where it's like you don't know how to make a budgeting plan or like you're similar to me where you're pretty good at budgeting or like getting by but you're not uh you don't know how to make use of a budgeting plan like a sheet don't worry about it just focus on where you are you know what you're doing so an important message coming through is to trust yourself but also listen to the universe listen to spirit and how it's going to guide you. Anything that you are like, ah, why is this happening? Why is this stressor happening? It's because spirit is telling you, get on it. Take action. But in a way that doesn't punish you. For example, let's say I've been trying to take care of myself. But I had to take two weeks off of work, right? And now I have $30 or I have six eighty dollars And the bills are $75 which means you have $5 left over and you ran out of food and you're three days before the bill and you need to buy something and it's $4, right? Um, the message here isn't saying like if you're stressed, it's like, oh, you should have worked harder. You shouldn't have taken those days off. Otherwise, you would have had more money. It's not that. It's saying, no, you're stressed about it. You're freaking out. You're wondering about that. The answer is saying of what to do is like, oh, go spend that $4 and get yourself the food. Don't even worry about it, bro. Like, that's the message, you know? It's the message of like, if you took time off, if money is tight, if you've just been doing what you've been doing, do what you can, or you do th see, look back and see how your finances is like your own undoing. Like there were certain spending things that you feel like maybe you shouldn't have spent on or you thought maybe that was a bad investment and now you're where you are and you're like, ah, now I'm stressed and I only have just enough to buy like, uh, like one thing off the dollar menu and that'll bring me just a couple of dollars underneath the bill that's due in a few days. It's like, just go for it. Like you need to eat, like you need to take care of yourself. Um, and I do focus mostly on food because I don't know what other things it is that people need. It's different for everyone, how you feel about what you need. Other people really feel like I need this for my health, right? <laughs> food is something is that's pretty unanimous. It's something that pretty much everybody needs you know so yeah the message once again is that if you're getting pushed in a certain way of like ah why is this happening is to take action see what i mean in a way that rewards you instead of punishes you a way that it punishes you if, if you're like oh the action i'm supposed to take with this is never break again take more hours at work that's a that's a that's what spirit must be saying kind of action of like you know of punishment um, and then reward is like, you know, I took that time off. I might need to get back on it next week now that the two weeks is over, but I'm just going to spend the, the money on the food and just trust this is what I got to do. I'm not going to feel bad about it. It was very stressful to make that choice because I'm tight on money. That on its own is already 
the anxiety enough on its own. So hopefully this is making sense what I'm trying to get at. So anything that pushes you this week, if you get stuck between is it saying this or that, pick the more positive sounding one, even if it's the one that seems to have less reward. You know, of the two, spending the $4 on food is more positive. Uh, saying I should have worked all those hours is is sort of negative, but more fi- financially rewarding, physically appearance-wise rewarding in like a, in general. But of those two, which one um, is more like, you know? So it's even if it's a smaller thing, even if it seems like, well, you know, like how is that going to, it's just like, just go with that one. Uh, just try it, see what happens. And if it turns out to be like, doesn't feel great, felt awful owning that it's okay to take a break or something, if that somehow even happens, then by all means, go ahead, go Go back to whatever it is you were doing, right? But chances are, like, finding ways to continue to reward yourself for anything you do in a way that is considerate of people's feelings, not just yourself, but everyone, but especially yourself. Um, you're, I don't know. I think a lot of you are going to notice an incredible shift. So this is a reading for a lot of others out there. One last card for the secondary focus. We do get, yeah, uh, by the end of the week, I see this as like beginning, middle, end. Like you go through this major transformation, yeah. And by the end of the week, I feel like you're approaching the um, the new moon that's going to be at the end of next week on the 24th. So the third quarter, the third quarter moon is on the 17th. So this is like the 16th, 17th, 18th energy, you know? So the end of the week, right? And it's the judgment card, which says like, yeah, major awakening, realizations, a way to something much better. Like, see, this person's like, oh my gosh, I'm saved. (laughs) And I remember now, earlier I was talking about a message like, any of you looking for support? Wow, it looks like you had that support all along by just trusting that you deserve to feel good about yourself and to support yourself and that, if, and that anything that does stress you, do the decision that supports you uh, emotionally, logically as well, physically. Yeah, just in all regards, it's just like a positive decision. So this is something that's coming through. Once again, these energies connect. See with the same coloring of that blue in the background, that dark energy. So there's that contrast, right? What what reality was once a bright thing, you actually were kind of stubborn and holding on a lot. And then once you chose to make that switch, it started off spooky because you were like, well, what if this was a mistake? But Shortly after, see how that's the same dark coloring? You realize, no, 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 going, letting day become night turned out to be the realization and clarity that you needed. So, yeah. So the biggest thing I'm seeing is working on partnership skills, working on relationships with people, like learning how to work together with your environment, with your surroundings, with people around you. And then the secondary priority is about figuring out how to turn your fears and your your uh, your saving or sp- splurging habits into some sort of positive change where you get to keep the best of both worlds, where you get to be the kind of person who you always have been while also transforming into a situation where you can have more stuff basically where you can manifest even more so yeah it does sound quite uh major so this is building up to the next week so yeah expect this week to go by gradually and that by the end of it while there's something big that comes from it it's still not even the the full manifestation quite yet. So any amazing transformations you occur that that occur for you this week, uh, just know that 
you're you're not even at that like uh that that pot at the end of the rainbow or whatever so yeah there's going to be a lot of blessings that come to you this week is what i see um but again i can tell this is all building up for the 24th for the new moon the new moon in aquarius yeah and that's going to be manifestations that bring you a lot of hope and i think like resources uh technology things like that because aquarius is the to me is the sign of hope resources it's that space of like yeah we're gonna have stuff to put in this space so that's aquarius's energy so yeah be open to receiving whatever it is the universe has to give you in these next couple of weeks um, be open to letting your fears or anxieties or stressful situations that might happen again this is a secondary focus so this is saying the top focus of what's happening this week is extremely positive so i don't want any of you to worry too much about this it's just i do feel this energy is because there are some of you that if you do worry more so about that that is just because that's where you're at on your journey um and you're completely valid to have those feelings and you're going to get through this week. You've been doing incredible. Do not give up. You are all doing an amazing job. Um, yeah. And so let's go ahead and look at some blessings coming in this week. And that will be the end of this reading. So, woo! well, I drew two cards by accident um, and we got the three of cups and the six of cups. I'm going to draw these ones next. But the three of cups and the six of cups... To me, some blessings is love. Love is major blessings in love this week. Lots of coming together with friendships or reuniting with someone that reminds you of uh, lots of friends or loved ones that you've met in the past. You know, I'm seeing two of cups basically because there's the three of cups and there's a the six of cups. So to me, this is like a three in one. This is like three people inside of one person, right? I am the three of cups. I am... Uh, you know, I'm charismatic, I'm loving, I'm funny and smart. So yeah, I'm smart, nurturing, and funny, you know, all these things, these different energies. I'm going with like throat chakra, heart chakra, sacral, solar plexus chakra, right? And that's one person. And then Six of Cups is saying that there's two people like that. <laughs> so a vibrational match emotionally so this is like a really good friend a really good partner romantically just whatever it is to you this is on the like blessings but this is also the lower focus uh the base of this week i'll show you guys whew, what this looks like see i have the top focus some other focuses that go throughout the week and then like yeah it's like the priority focus is the one that's like, this is the core, this really amazing thing about the week, but it's also like, yeah, it's the whole week. And then it's funny because as we get more general, it gets specific though, because I also do time. So like, even though this is a general thing, this is the beginning of the week. And this is generally the middle of the week. And then now this is getting even more specific because this seems to be the very start of the week over here. Uh, connecting with loved ones, speaking with loved ones, thinking and feeling about loved ones, dreaming about loved ones, right? Let's see what happens next with these blessings. Woo, the page of wands. And then by the middle of the week, sort of looking back and seeing that those were giving you clues to what's manifesting back with this wands energy when it comes to this thing that you're uh, growing in the garden. So these, if you've been having interesting dreams about loved ones and friends, these are actually giving you clues about certain events and invitations that are going to come your way down the road. So, ooh, the emperor. Ooh, this is a good card. Huh? So shortly after that, another blessing is, yep, it gives you the clues of the action you want to take right now and near the end of the week. And then by the end of all this, a blessing to leave off with the weekend is clarity. So again, that goes with the judgment, the awakening card, right? So you find clarity, you find healing, anything that was stressing you out, completely releasing at this time. You've been releasing it. And at this point, 
It's all about learning to let go. Because the third quarter moon, I think that's what this is talking about. This is approaching the third quarter moon. So this is like the 15th, 16th, and then the third quarter moon is on the 17th. And the third quarter is all about realizing you need to release energy, release stress, release worry, release these fears so that they don't keep bothering you and pestering you to do stuff. when You don't really want to do stuff. So again, I feel like anxieties and fears will try to make you feel bad about yourself to... Uh, Go in a direction you don't really want to go to away from your clarity. And so just like just kind of stop and realize that these birds, like if they're inside of your mind, turn these birds or bats or whatever these are. These are more like bats. Turn them into butterflies and then observe them and let them fly away. Right. This is your mind. It's your world. It's your universe. These are your bats. These are your birds. These are your fears, your anxieties. Turn them into butterflies. They don't have power over you. Your thoughts do not define you. Let it go. So the end of the week, the biggest blessing coming through is this peace and clarity from being able to release. And this is going to set up very nicely for the new moon in Aquarius. So next week's energy reading, I think, is going to be really cool. I think this is saying a lot of love is manifesting for those of you. So love in January manifesting seemed to have hit pretty strong and spot on. I remember hearing that in a Rainbow Harmony video. She was like doing a What's Coming in 2020 reading uh, back in December. She did 12 different piles January through December. And I think she said January is one of the months of like love manifesting. And I think there were some different months and timelines too. So yeah, don't worry too much, everybody. You all know where you're at. If you feel like you've been doing a lot of growth and like you've been getting closer and closer to love and stuff like that then chances are this new moon could very well be the moon that the love this commitment this partnership is coming together or whatever it is you're looking for with love uh manifests uh, it could be a big clue that manifests by the new moon when it comes to love of like certain support where you're just like it just feels like a relief and then it'll just I don't know. You'll just keep getting that kind of support. You'll just keep on getting closer and closer and closer until your world really looks like a world of like rainbows and daisies of love, of support. Of course, there's always going to be ups and downs. Of course, there's always going to be hardships. But yeah, it doesn't have to be a nightmare. And that's what gets to... That's, that's what I mean by rainbows and daisies, that we can transform our reality where we don't have to be afraid of the outside world anymore. We don't have to be afraid all the time we can we can uh honor our fear and recognize that if we feel it it's a part of us so we're not going to try to ignore it necessarily you know last thing you should do is just straight up ignore a part of yourself because that's like neglect so just keep that in mind as well so let your fear be part of you where it's like you can be cautious but don't let it rule your life or push you in any direction. It shouldn't force you to do stuff that you don't want to do or get you to do something that you end up regretting later. Sometimes we do stuff we're afraid to do, like trust or have fun or something, and then it turns out to benefit us. And we're like, oh, cool, we overcame that fear. Like, wow, <laughs> you know? So it, it, it works, the universe works with you. So take your time, everybody. So... That's it for this reading. Thank you so much for listening. Um, if you resonate with that, if you made it this far, if any of you would like to support the channel, uh, like, comment down below if this resonated with you, if you enjoyed this reading. Um, yeah, subscribe if you're new here and you want to join the channel. If you like my energy, you can subscribe. Um, yeah. There are donations. There's donation links for any of you who are curious about that. That's in the description below. I have a booking site for any of you who want to book a reading with me. If you have troubles with the site, you can always email me and get a reading from me directly that way. There are numerous people who just get private readings with me through email. They don't go through the site. Totally okay. Whichever way you want to do it, I'm on board. Um, ooh. There is Patreon. I'm remembering I need to do the mid-monthly reading. 
for Patreon. So there's that one on there, um, which the energy there is really nice, and I appreciate. Thank you to my Patreons, to my supporters who are on there. Very much appreciated. Very, very helpful. That has come in handy every single month. And even still, I'm like, ah, maybe it's not helping. Maybe I should close it down. But it seems to help people. Um, people seem to vibe with it. And, it's, and it keeps helping me. So it's like, it's very nice. So, yeah. That's it. My stomach's feeling a little, eh. So I'm going to just rest now. So... I think this is the last video I'm doing today and I'm just going to chill for the rest of the night. So much love to you all. Talk to you all later. Have a good week, everybody. Till next time. Take care.